This is the Good Neighbor Podcast, the place where local businesses and neighbors come together. Here's your host, Cabo Jim Schaller. Welcome, Good Neighbors, to episode number 174 of the Good Neighbor Podcast, Sestero. Today, we have Good Neighbor Donna Marcott from Premier Sotheby's International Realty. Welcome. Good morning, Jim. Thank you for having me. This is exciting. Yeah. Yeah, pleasure to get to know people in the community and share what they do with with our residents. So, Excellent. without further ado, let's um, let's jump right in. Obviously, you're in real estate, but share a little bit about what you do. Well, let's see. I uh, I'm here with Premier Sotheby's International Realty, and I uh, sell homes in gated golf course communities from Fort Myers to Naples. And I specialize in the luxury lifestyle because here in this area, we have uh, have a lot of second homeowners. And when people come to the area, they're not just looking for the sticks and bricks of, of a house, not like you do up north where you're looking for that right school district or, you know, being close to something. Here, you want to be in a community that suits your lifestyle needs. And Folks have to think about how they're going to be living their lifestyle here in Southwest Florida. And then they pick their community as a result of that, because you can find similar properties in every community. But you want to really concentrate on that lifestyle first and how you're going to be enjoying your time here in Southwest Florida. And that's the important thing. You got to be able to enjoy everything that we have to offer down here. That's exactly it. So how did you get involved in real estate? So I have a hospitality background. I was in hotels for a number of years. And when my husband and I moved to Southwest Florida, ooh, 27 years ago now, I started wow. in the golf club industry. So I worked for a developer, WCI Communities. I worked for them for 19 years. And I did uh, country club management and marketing as well as on-site sales. So I just really developed a passion for that lifestyle type community. And six years ago, I decided to start into general real estate. And I've been doing that ever since. That is great. That is great. I, I come from the hospitality industry as well. So oh, it's, it's a very it's an interesting industry. <laughs> it's like <laughs> like sure. any industry, it's a, everything's <laughs> always changing. It's a good um, basis for the real estate business because we bring a lot of customer service. Absolutely. And, 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 a, and a high level of that to this business. So. Yes. And that's that's what we need more of nowadays. It seems like a lot of people <laughs> have forgotten a lot about that. So are there any You've, you've had a journey where you it leads you now and you're into real estate. Is there something that happened, maybe a challenge or obstacle along your journey that you can look back at now and say, you know what, I'm in a better place now because of it? You know, I struggled for a long time to make the move because I was very secure with what I did and I did it for a long time. Um, but but I've got a pretty good, I think, a pretty good outlook on life. And, and you know, I think that you have to sometimes jump and take a chance. And um, and I did that. And it was difficult at first because you're, you're leaving what you know, you know, for so long. And, and I could do my job with my blindfolded and my hands tied behind my back. Right. Yeah. So getting into something different was was difficult. And, and I, I didn't want to look back. And, and I haven't. Uh, it's been wonderful. And and once you do that, once you just make that decision and jump in, uh, I think it's a it's a terrific journey and, and we have to challenge ourselves. So I did that. I did a little bit later in life, um, but I'm enjoying it tremendously. And that and that's the important part. Challenging yourself is how you grow. Otherwise, you stay, you know, who wants to stay where they are? Yeah, everybody wants to grow and become a better person each day. So Absolutely. congrats for, for having the courage to do so. <laughs> Thank you. So are there any myths or maybe misconceptions surrounding the real estate industry that we could clear up for our listeners? That it's glamorous because it isn't <laughs> always glamorous. Let me tell you, on a Sunday afternoon when I'm putting open house signs on and we have one of our afternoon showers, <laughs> it's not glamorous. Or when I'm trying to find a lockbox and I'm walking through the dirt and the mud behind a house. So <laughs> it is enjoyable. It is it is fulfilling, but it is not always glamorous. <laughs> yeah, And I don't think people appreciate everything that real estate agents do. You know, I would say the, the ones who are really focused on their business, and this is a business for me, uh, they work very hard. So I think that's another misconception. The, the majority of us work very, very hard. Absolutely. So being in Southwest Florida, we've seen a lot of changes over the years. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you notice anything trending lately? You know, I, I would say that it's not 2022, right? So it's people just have to set their expectation a little bit. Uh, prices have softened, but but they haven't dropped, if that makes any sense. So yeah. basically, when we look at 2022 and everything just skyrocketed, we're, we're in more of a normal market right now. So it's nothing to, the sky isn't falling, it's nothing to be concerned about. People are still moving to Southwest Florida. I think the other uh, misconception sometimes uh, is that 
it's dead in the summer. Um, and it's not. We don't have as many folks around as we do in the winter months. We're certainly busier, but we still have buyers here. So prices have softened. It's a little quieter, but people are still moving to Southwest Florida and wanting to live here. Absolutely. Yeah, I moved here in, in 1989, and oh, that's, it's, changed, it's changed a lot. But uh, back then, it was very, very seasonal. You know, yes, it was a ghost yes. town when, when, you know, in the summer. But now it's more year-round, and you're it seeing really more is. people here on a regular basis. So speaking of Southwest Florida, what brought you to Southwest Florida? My husband's job actually brought us here again in the hotel industry. We were we were transferred down here. And I have to tell you, I didn't like it at first. Uh, we, <laughs> we moved here from Atlanta. And, you know, 27 years ago, there wasn't a lot going on here. Uh, yep. We absolutely love it now. And, and it's our home. We've been here for a long time. And we wouldn't consider living anyplace else. But at the time, you know, there just wasn't a lot going on. And this area has grown so much over those 27 years. I'm sure you've seen it as well since 89 quite a lot back in the back in the day not that i'm right. or anything but uh you know it was fort myers and it was naples and benita was literally a trailer park in between <laughs> there was nothing here nothing, nothing. at all and now nothing it's, it's all. grown so much and now east of 75 is growing but it's great to see you know bring it it is, it is. and it people. offers a lot for folks uh for folks to do now uh where you know what all we, we always had the beaches but now we have so much more Absolutely. Speaking of that, I know you probably have very little free time running your own business and being in real estate, but what do you enjoy doing outside of work? My husband and I love to go to the North Carolina mountains. We just got back a week or so ago. Uh, it's an area that we've visited for over 30 years. It's a great place for folks, even in this area, to go and get away from the heat yeah, in the right. summer. And we absolutely love to travel up there and just take some downtime and enjoy ourselves and enjoy our little dog. And um, that's that's kind of as much as we get to do. We enjoy traveling. That's good. And that's important. Get out and seeing new places and enjoying that. But knowing we get to come back to Southwest Florida. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> So is there one thing you wish our listeners knew about what you do that maybe they're not aware of? Well, we work hard. You know, we work hard. Definitely. We um, it's kind of a 24 seven business We're we're constantly on call. And it's let me say it's a privilege for me to do what I do and to have people uh, entrust me with the sale and the purchase of one of their largest investments. So that I take that very seriously. So I, I think that, you know, it's, it is a business. I take it seriously. We work hard. All of us work hard. And maybe that's something that people don't necessarily see. Uh, but, uh, but also we enjoy what we do very much. We really enjoy providing this service and, and helping people, especially when they come down here and they get to enjoy this, this beautiful area uh, and to see their faces when they, they get to enjoy what they've worked their whole lives for. Absolutely. That, that's got to be the best feeling in the world. We it love is, that. It really is. So how would our listeners go about contacting you if they wanted to learn more? Sure. Well, they can reach me on my cell phone. Again, the 24-7 uh, part, uh, right. 239-851-1964. Uh, we are located at the southwest corner of uh, 41 and Coconut Road, just across from Coconut Point Mall. That's where our offices are located, but they can reach me at my phone number and they can find me on my uh, website at LuxuryLivingSouthwestFlorida.com. Perfect. Donna, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. Uh, thank you for being so such a great person in the community, and I hope to see you out here soon. Thank you so much. It, it was really a pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for listening to the Good Neighbor Podcast Estero. To nominate your favorite local businesses to be featured on the show, go to gnpestero.com. That's gnpestero.com. Or call 239 296 2621.